as you can tell, this video is very different from what I normally make. And for those that don't know me, um, I'm a super auto pets YouTuber, which is like an auto battler game. I used to be uh, decently popular in the genre, and then I quit, uh, burned out, then came back, quit again, and then I quit for basically a year, and that's where I am now. Um, I've grown my YouTube channel from literally nothing, like 100% nothing, two times, and kind of like half from nothing back to something, like three or four times, you could say. Um, so I do know a little bit how YouTube works, how to grow a YouTube channel, and this is pretty much my journey of starting my YouTube channel, my mindset behind it, uh, why I quit the first time, resetting, growing up, and making my channel bigger than ever it was, and then burning out and quitting again. Um, there are some, it's mostly like a life situation, but there's a lot of YouTube advice in there too. Um, if you don't know who I am, hopefully it's still valuable. If you do know who I am, it's a fun, interesting story of why I'm so uh, dumb. And uh, <laughs> hopefully it's valuable and interesting and enjoyable. I think it was funny talks, that's why I'm posting it. And uh, yeah, it's definitely a little weird, and I do make some cuts because I, you know, I ended up ended up being too super auto, auto pets e at times. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it, and uh, feel free to leave not weird comments. And I'm gonna show you the greatest graph the world's ever seen. So I originally started making super auto, not super auto pets. I originally making started YouTube videos back in March 30th, 20 fucking 20. And let me tell you, this was some cringe stuff. Like this was, you know, I this is you, know, you go back and you watch your famous YouTubers first videos. Not that I'm a famous YouTuber, but like the point is, is this was really bad. Okay. I didn't know how to talk to a camera. I was like stuttering. Um, I still do that, but you know what I mean? Um, I had like no energy in my voice. I was like, uh, what do I say? Um, I ended up making seven goddamn cents though. That's huge. That's huge money. That's why you do it. That's why you fucking grind, boys. That's why, that's why you do it. That's why you enter the YouTube gang. That's seven fucking cents for 238 views. God damn, man. But no, uh, I ended up, you know, making random videos back then i pretty much only played elitist games uh, i played dota 2 which i know goddamn none of you motherfuckers have played that game is way too complicated for your dumb asses all right I'm <laughs> but like for real like that is the polar opposite of super auto pets and i played path of exile which is also the polar opposite of super auto pets it is incredibly hard to get into incredibly complicated it is nothing, it, it, it's not even a good thing that it's so hard to get into. It's, it's really not even that much more strategically in-depth than Super Auto Pets is. It's a, it's a game that they designed, but it is fun. It is an amazing game, both Dota 2 and PoE. Next thing, I don't even play them anymore, but they were great. And then I made a Super, I made an artifact video. That actually did pretty decent. I mean, as my fourth video ever, 2,000 views, that's pretty sick, man. Now, people did not like it because I have no idea. I don't remember what I did. I'm sure it was bad for some reason. Look how terrible that thumbnail is, dude. Look how terrible this thumbnail is. Like, look how bad it was, dude. It was, it's a little artifact logo. I, like, we will save it. It's like so cute. It's so cute. See where we come. But honestly, for a second try, not bad. Now the fucking audience watch percentage. That's terrible, dude. That's bad. But, um, yeah, so then I just kind of fucked around and made things. We're not going to talk about some of this. There's some cringe things in here. All right, we're not going to get into them. And I, I fucked around and made things. Eventually I found, um... These all did really bad, as you can see. Like, the audience retention, terrible. Like, these videos just weren't very good. Um, no one liked them. Like, look at the likes, right? No one liked them. And then one day, not that people like this video, because it's it's a bad video, but they watched it. No, they didn't. This was also bad. We're gonna, we're going next. That has, that has views because people came, went back and watched my first video. That's why that has views. Um, I mean, this video, people still didn't like it because I probably lost or something. I don't know. But this is a 24-minute video that has... Okay, this is still not very good. It's good enough where it got 16,000 views, okay? And I made a dollar. Come on. That's huge money, all right? That's a big deal for me. But it has 16,000 views. And I was like, God damn. But really the video that uh, made me realize that I could act, people actually like me playing games and recording myself playing a game um, and not uh, guides or talk through videos because I'm bad at that um, was, was this video. Um, one hit build, but the thing about it is you're thinking, well, it's no different than the other ones. It's not doing that great, yada, yada, yada. Here's the thing that's great about it is that I posted it and actually started getting views and people started actually watching the whole thing. You see how this gets flat here? People actually, people who were interested actually watch the whole thing. And that's what matters, right? If people stay, do they actually enjoy and watch the whole thing? Um, because obviously, if unless it's really a really good hook at the beginning, like, not many people are going to watch a 21 minute video, right? It's not a super auto video. It's funny because like the, the view duration is the, even though this video is 21 minutes, this gets less viewed average view duration than a no modern video for me, which is like 10 minutes. <laughs> but um, the point is, is that, yeah, uh, I made videos and people didn't fucking hate them. And it really motivated me. And I was like, God damn. It was so amazing at the time where I'm like, 
I'm making videos and people don't fucking just hate them? What? Like, I couldn't believe it. Like, it blew my mind. This is when I made PoE videos um, that, again, no one liked them, right? Because I, I made this video. I made a series of these videos. They had, like, no views. No one cared, right? Like, maybe 10, 20, 30, 50, 100 views, whatever. And then I started making these again because I was like, oh. And then here I realized, I'm like, yeah, these have, like, a thousand, this has, like, a thousand views. This has, like, a thousand views. People actually like these. Wait a minute. Can I play Custom Hero Clash? And grow a channel? Is this a thing you can actually do? Because my current time here, I was just like, I was literally just like, dude, I'm just going to fucking play whatever, man. I'm just going to play. We're going to go back to Super Mario But I'm just going to play whatever. Like, I'm just going to play whatever I'm having fun with at the time. I'm not going to sit here and try to, like, do something. I'm not going to sit here and, like, have a bad time trying to build something. I want to play games I'm, I am having fun playing and make videos I'm having fun making, but if I'm not enjoying the actual process of doing it, I'm not gonna do it. In the same sense, if you're building a house, right? And every day, let's say it's a cinder block house, um, and every day you go and you're fucking like, you're stacking these cinder blocks, you're like leveling the ground, you're solving all these problems, because some days you're gonna, you're gonna you know, build these cinder block walls and there's not gonna be level, there's gonna be something in the ground, she's gonna fall over. You're gonna problem solve. It's not gonna be like RuneScape, where you just literally just shut your stupid fucking brain off and go hit fucking trees. And I, I, even when I do that, I'm still fucking miserable because hitting trees is boring as dick balls. But you can't do that, right? It's not a, pr it's not a thing you can just meditate your way through or just grind, right? You can't enter a grind mindset. You have to be fully attentive because there's going to be problems you have to solve or you're going to be shit. So you have to be engaged. You can't just fucking grind through it in a dumb turn off your brain kind of way. Um, and doing so, like, if I do that today, it just, I can do it. I have done it. I have pushed myself to sit there and edit for four hours when it's fucking miserable. And I'm not going to sit here and say, like, um, I'm, I'm out of touch because, like, you know, I've worked in fucking warehouses and I've done, like, literally the fucking, you know, not, listen, this is only for a few months because I'm fucking a lazy piece of shit, but I've done it, you know, I've done the hard manual labors, the fucking super repetitive tasks, I've, I've done it, you know, and it's, it's honestly not that bad, like, I'm dead ass, like, a simple job where you're doing manual labor, like, construction, like, cleaning off, um, like, like, if you're at, like, a roofing construction site and, like, you have to clean up all the fucking nails and shit, you have to go around, it takes, like, fucking, Six hours, you have to go pick up every single fucking nail. They got flown in the yard to go around and check so people don't step on them. That shit. Let me say it, man. It's not that bad. You know, you just go, you're just kind of chilling. You can listen to music, you can think about things. You're just going around and you're picking up nails out of the ground and checking them. Eventually, after you do it a few times, you can kind of just enter it in a meditative state. In the same way where you can just go in RuneScape and cut trees. Like, you don't have to sit there and think, like, oh, what tree do I need to cut? You don't have to, you don't have to consciously, you, you don't have to use your frontal lobes, man. Your frontal lobes can be daydreaming, you know? And then your rest of your body is just kind of chilling, just like, oh, I'm doing something. I'm being productive. I'm, I'm helping other people. It's not that bad. Now, I'm not saying it's good. I'm not saying it's good. I'm not saying it's fun. I'm just saying it is a whole different beast than fucking sitting there doing repetitive fucking math homework, man. Fuck that shit. And, and this might be because I have ADHD, but that, like, repetitive math homework is legitimately the worst thing. I would literally rather kill myself. And that sounds sad, but it's actually completely true that, holy fuck, I hate it. But next point is when you start doing tasks that are complicated enough where you can't autopilot them, like working, you know, like stacking TVs uh, in a Best Buy warehouse or like running a forklift, just picking shit up and placing it or doing shipping or picking up roofing nails. Those jobs suck, right? Because they're physically painful, but they're not actually that bad. You know what I mean? Um, there's way worse jobs, in my opinion. Now, people, a lot of people say those, I think customer service got to be the worst fucking job. I could never do that shit. But anyway, the point being is I originally started all this to have fun, to literally, hopefully somehow get lucky enough and be just, I'm going to say the word blessed, even though God's not real, blessed <laughs> enough to um, be a person who has the privilege of just doing something they genuinely enjoy and gain fulfillment and energy from as a way to also survive in this fucking world. You know what I mean? And and be self-sustaining and people actually benefit from your work and people actually enjoy things you do, even though the thing you're doing is fun for you. And originally that was my idea. I'm just gonna make videos I wanna make. I'm gonna make, I'm gonna play games that I have fun playing. Not because for some, some deeper meaning, not for some grander thing, not because there's some place to go or some place to get, but because I'm just having fun doing it. And I'll be damned if I didn't start out with that mindset. And I did start out with that mindset. I was like, I just wanna have fun playing games and record, but fucking YouTube takes it from me, man. 
it takes it from me because when you start getting views, you start thinking, oh, I need more views. Oh, that feels so fucking good. Oh, man, I got a thousand views on that. I want I want 10,000 views. Oh, I got 10,000 views. Oh, oh no, I got I to gotta get 100,000 views. I got 100,000 views. I need, I need a million views. And that happens, you know, and it sucks. And the important thing is like the there's there's a balance to it, because on one hand, I do want more viewers. Absolutely. I'm motivated to have more viewers. Uh, more viewers makes making content more fun. It just does. It literally makes it a more enjoyable experience. When you post a video and people comment, like, and people comment and actually have a dialogue with you, like, you don't get actual comments in your videos unless A, the people there literally know you, or B, um, it has a lot of views, right? Like, it's just, that's just how it fucking works. Um, like, people usually just don't fucking comment on random fucking 800 view, 1000 view, 2000 view videos. It usually, like, when you get in, like 30, 50, 60, 70,000 views, people start fucking commenting a lot. A lot more. Like, if, if I, the weird thing is, you post a video with 10,000 views, let's say you'll have 10 comments. I don't know exactly, but roughly that, right? If you post a video with 30,000 views, you'll have 300 comments. <laughs> not literally, but you'll have like 100 comments. Maybe not 30,000, maybe 50,000. But the point is, is like the comments scale weirdly. It's because it's like there's more conversation that's going on in the comments, so that means that there's more comments. And like, not that I necessarily like comments or care about comments, but the point is, is like, it, it adds like a sense of engagement and like a meaning to like some of the shit you're doing right that's the point i'm making and after we watch this battle i'm gonna, I'm gonna show some more I'm show more stuff um and so originally that was my plan right i was going to pause originally just making random shit seeing what's stuck having fun figuring it out obviously in order to do this you have to be good at making videos but figuring out how to be good at making videos is kind of fun i was actually having a blast doing all this is that's why I was doing it kind of so often. Like, even though it wasn't a job or important to do, I was doing it like almost every day, every other day, uh, every week at least. And eventually, this is when I posted. Like, I think in this video, I'm like, oh hey, I'm actually gonna make a smear clash videos. I'm gonna I'm gonna commit to it. I'm gonna do it. I'm having fun. People like these ones. I'm having fun playing this game right now. It's my favorite game. Shit, I'll make fucking customer clash videos for it's a, which is like a build your own hero type of thing. Obviously, the game wasn't super popular it wasn't unpopular but it's not super popular right it's not a very popular game like you, no one knows who that what the game is but um i mean some of you do because you played it but you, you know what I'm saying. um <laughs> the point is is that I, then i did that right and then i had a lot of fun um i i progressed along the way i made some really fucking weird ass intros wait let's look like look i still used to make it because my entire idea when i was editing and making videos was like why would anyone watch me right that's the mindset you have to have to be successful right why would anyone fucking watch you because you're stupid and no one cares about you because guess what no matter who you are, that is true. Until I know who you are, you're just a random person to me. I don't fucking give a shit about you. And then to make me give a shit about you in any meaningful way, even creators I really, really like, like, uh, you know, like Moist Critical or like Ludwig or something, I don't fucking care what they're doing. I don't, I'm not going to go watch their streams, man. Fuck you. I don't give a fuck. Entertain me, bitch. Let's see. Say something funny, you know? But check out check out this intro. Oh, this is this is terrible quality. But just, just accept it because we're, we're watching it from the preview screen. Like, I still made these intro memes to show like, hey, I'm not going to be some fucking guy just sitting here playing a game for 35 minutes where you could literally just play the game yourself and there's going to be no editing. It's going to, you know, basically very basic discussion. I was like, I'm putting actual effort in this. I'm different. I'm giving you a reason, hopefully, to watch this. I'm going to do something extra that no one else is doing. I'm going to do something no one else is willing to do. That's why you should watch this video. And if you don't have that mindset, you're not going to grow very fast. And you're not going to you're not going to be successful. Like you can grow and you can become it. Like there's there's timing, right? So there's three ways to really grow. Timing, meaning you're the first one to do something, whatever it is. Let's say Super Pets just come out. If you're actually making decent gameplay videos that are titled and thumbnailed well and they're entertaining games, people will watch it. If you're first to do it. Nowadays, no one will give a fuck about you. You can go th you can go through and you can like literally look uh, if you want to like suture you it. There's actually a lot of people in my time, because I, you know, I'm deep into the algorithm of Super Pets, so I get recommended their videos, and they're pretty good videos. And they can they can post. You'll you'll see they'll have one video that has like eight thousand views. Then you go check the channel. The rest has like a hundred or two hundred, because the niche has been satisfied. Every viewer, every viewer now has someone they would rather watch play the fucking game, unless it's an absolutely insane game, like, and that's just how it is. Um, unless you're literally just drastically better than like Scooty or Kino or Sag, you're just not. No one's gonna fucking watch your shit, dude. Like, no one's gonna, no one fucking cares. Um, now, not I'm saying the people out there that, not to say that there's someone out there who isn't just drastically fucking better. 
at the game and it's more entertaining. Because that happens sometimes. However, that's what you need to do, right? You can't just make their shit. You can't just be Scooty now. You can't do it. Because there already is one. You know what I'm saying? Um, it, it already exists. But you could, for instance, if it, you know, if uh, it, let's let, let's say Super Mario Pets 2 comes out, but none of the audience carries over. It's a whole new game. Um, you could make videos that are good, like, oh my god, uh, this something, you know, like a how to beat the game with one pet. You know, what I'm saying you could you could do that again, or all that stuff, like all, like entertaining video, people willing to click on it, and then you just watch it, and eventually, you know, not every video has to be the greatest thing ever. Because the the person you are is now adding value to it because they obviously like you. But my point is, is like, not everyone can post a, oh, I beat Super Auto Pets with one pet. Or, oh, I beat Super Auto Pets with all 50-50s every single fucking day. Uh, you can maybe post an interesting, fun game every day, but it's not going to be insane enough for someone who doesn't know you to click on it, right? It, it, it's just it's not really feasible. So yeah, my point being is that you could do it, but it would be way more difficult once the... Once the audience is solidified into people it likes, it is way fucking harder to do it. You have to literally go above and beyond. And that's why it's really hard to break into, like, a broad variety of categories, because why- if you're not doing anything that's specific for someone, why would someone watch you? Like, why would I watch someone sit there and talk to a camera and play random games when I already have someone I like who does that? You know what I mean? Unless you're doing something really creative and really different. Something that makes me go, oh! Bugaroo! That's why people, like, um, not to say that they're bad at it, because they are good at it. There's a reason people watch them. That's why people, like, you know, back in the old Twitch days, they're still famous to this day, and they didn't do fucking jack shit, like, soda popping. Not saying he's not entertaining, because he is. Or, like, Moon Moon, or, like, those old fucking streamers who still fucking do it. Because, and they didn't have to do jack shit. They didn't have to fucking grind the YouTube algorithm. They didn't have to learn all this shit. They didn't have to fucking do anything. But they literally just fucking streamed themselves talking to a camera since day motherfucking one. All right? That's what they had to do, and th 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 that's the reward. You were there first, people fucking liked you, you were number one, easy peasy, easy for you, man. GZ. Um, now, before I stomp some more noobs in this game. So, eventually, you know, I did all this, yada, yada, yada. Uh, I eventually quit, too. I get up to, I like a, you know, I got decently popular, I'm getting like 10,000 views a video or so, on average-ish, um, which is not amazing. Um, it's also not bad. It's pretty good. Like, it's enough. Like, realistically, it's like 30 grand a year, right? 35, 40 grand a year. <clears throat> if you're including streaming and all that shit, right? So, like, a very basic job, right? Which, for me, I'm like, fucking, hell yeah, dude. I won't do fucking Jack Shell. Just do this. And I'll, I don't care. Because it's like, if you're spending your time doing something that is really fun and enjoying for you, and you're, and you're actually getting value from the, your actions, and you just have to be getting some fucking money, hell yeah, dude. That's a big pog champ for me, dog. But eventually, uh, I stopped growing because, you know, this niche and the same thing with the Super Auto Pets niche, like, it's pretty hard to get views over 100,000 views a video. It's pretty hard to average any more than that. And I wasn't satisfied. That's kind of why I quit the first time. Um, and that's why I quit here because, like, I got, I couldn't grow anymore. Like, I couldn't, I stopped growing. And my dumb brain just couldn't be like, my dumb brain couldn't just be like, okay, that's fine. Just because, like, I got bored. I didn't want to play the game anymore. I played this game for six months and I was, I didn't, I wasn't having fun just playing it to play it. Like I wanted, I was having more fun. And what my real passion was then was making YouTube videos, which is weird, right? It's super weird because before I was like, I want to play games and I want to record myself playing games. But then I get obsessed with it, right? Like up until this point ish, let's just say this point. I don't know if it's true. I do it for like three or four months, get obsessed with it. And then eventually I can't grow anymore. I max out. And then I go, damn, I don't know what I want to do now. Like, I want to do something. I want to make videos. I want to make videos. I want to get better at making videos. I want to get better at thumbnails. I want to get better at editing. I'm having fun making videos. I don't really care about the game. And then all the comments on the videos are always like, um, what do you mean? No comments, dude. What the fuck? No comments, dude? All right, I don't remember what I was saying. Uh, some technical issues, whatever. We're, we're, we're jumping to the next topic. Eventually, you know, I get bored of playing the game and I get more more i start having more fun making the youtube videos editing but the thing is when you're editing like the example earlier you're not building a house you're just building a wall and every day you just push the wall over editing is really 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 unbelievably boring and frustrating and not fun 
and you know that's pretty much ends up being true for so many things like and so it's like you want to be a part of something you care about and editing playing the game itself really not that bad the, the game is decently fun I'm never like playing the game and like oh I'm miserable but then it's like if I'm editing the game I'm spending hours editing the game then post it I don't really care the editing and the posting all the YouTube is miserable because it to me it seems like a waste of time to me it feels like I'm sitting there spending time building a wall to push it over. Um, this is like a whole psychological thing, you know. It's 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 it, it, it's a whole fucking thing, right? But to get back to the original point, that something I finally realized after fighting with myself for years about it is the reason I stop making videos and I quit and give up is because I keep building cinder block balls. Oh, this this guy's team name is actually the Super Autopets. Oh shit, I hope he beats me. Please beat me. You got this, buddy. You got this, man. You got two rocks, you got this, buddy! Oh shit, can he do it? Can he do it? Oh man, I don't know if he beats me or not. I didn't notice this. He probably doesn't. He doesn't. Oh man. Is to say, um, I'm the best ever, obviously, as you can tell. And to say that I don't want to spend time editing and making all the thumbnails and putting, all, putting four, three, four hours a day into editing and doing all the shit for stuff i don't really care about like to me i don't want to edit super autopets videos anymore i don't want to make memes for super autopets videos i still want to play them and i still want to talk to you guys i still want to just make videos and have fun so i will continue to do that i'm going to start taking the channel a lot less seriously um and the video quality is going to degrade and i and i've said this before because i've been trying to tell myself this but now i know why i don't want to do it and before it was so hard to like just accept it because it felt like I was pussing out and I was being a bitch, you know? Like, just fucking do it. It makes better videos. Now I know why I don't want to do it. It's because I don't want to put time into building a wall that I just knock over every day. Because I don't I don't make... I don't edit videos because I want, want to show you a great game or because I care about the game. I edit videos and edit titles and edit thumbnails because I like making good videos and having fun making good videos and building channels. And I, the YouTube side of things, that's why I do it. And sometimes it stops making sense because... Why am I doing all this for a game when no one even really cares about that stuff, right? So, I will continue to make uh, Super Artists videos. I will continue to do some very basic things, like obviously I'm going to make thumbnails. Obviously I'm going to make titles. I actually like making thumbnails and titles, uh, just straight up. But the editing thing, I will, I'm going to cut down on that a lot, uh, like literally 90%. And honestly, the videos just aren't going to be Nidoro videos anymore. Like, and it sucks, but I just don't care. However... I am working on something that you guys will see soon, and hopefully, uh, it's everything I ever wanted it to be. It's gonna be tough, but I'm going to make actual YouTube videos, like full-blown actual YouTube videos, sometime within the next four or five days. It should be uploaded. Um, not on this channel, though. And if you guys find it, that'll be sick. Um, anyway, I hope this video is 25 minutes long. I'm gonna do some basic editing on it, but thanks for watching, thanks for listening, thanks for sticking around for Possibly three or four years if you've been here that long. Um, and yeah. Goodbye, guys.